Also new tonight, North Texas mother is asking for more accountability. This is after her son was attacked at a sleepover. This evening, she found out that two young students will be facing charges, but considering what they forced him to do, she says, and told our Aaron Jones, the possible punishment, not even enough. For more than seven months, they've been waiting for criminal charges. Summer Smith's son, 13 at the time, attending Haggard Middle School, shown in this now viral video being forced to drink urine at a sleepover last February. Smith says one of Samarian Humphrey's classmates befriended him a month prior to get him to attend with the intention of bullying and assaulting him, and that that night he was also shot with BBs while asleep, then called racial slurs. And it has affected him, you know, his depression, um, his anxiety and stuff is, is, is definitely affecting him. And we're by no means out of, you know, like the, the healing process. Plano police launched an investigation and Smith says in a meeting today, she learned two of the students will each be facing an assault by contact charge, a class C misdemeanor charged as juveniles. To find out that it's like the equivalent of a ticket uh, with just a little fine, that that says to me what they think about my child. They chose the absolute lowest level, which is the equivalent of a ticket. No jail time, no threat of jail time. It's fine. Smith's attorney Kim Cole hoping for at the very least a class A misdemeanor. When you handle these types of situations with kid gloves, it's not a deterrent. They have been protecting these kids from day one. And I can't say that I'm surprised. She says she'll now be filing civil claims against them. Meanwhile, Smith says her son has created an anti-bullying organization that aims to make sure what happened to him doesn't happen to anyone else. In Plano, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. So uh, Smith says that her son was the victim of several other bullying incidents that took place prior to the sleepover that we just talked about. But today was told by police that Plano ISD has no documentation of those incidents. We did reach out to the district as of tonight. We've not heard back on that note.